Good morning, folks. We've got a lot to cover today. We're seeing a bright active region incoming there. We'll go around the top science news starting at spaceweathernews.com, where the primary element of focus is the coronal hole. The incoming bright active region is visible here as well, and although it didn't come from those spots, we did have minor eruptive behavior on the southern hemisphere yesterday as a small filament broke open into the corona, but did not make it out into interplanetary space. The magnetogram tells us that we should have sunspots incoming as well. We will watch for nudges to the solar flare charts, which are currently flatlined. Solar wind dropping out as well. We're seeing phi angle, Earth to Sun, and low-level geomagnetic conditions. We are quiet as we await the stream impact from this coronal hole. Government forecast is for impact Wednesday, but the leading edge could even arrive by tomorrow night. Top satellite capture the last few days is the emergence of little Mercury ready to swing behind the Sun. Full-on reflection from this angle, creating the oversaturation wings. Let's go now to the footage that came in from Chile. In the major quake we reported yesterday, at least two people have confirmed to have been killed, with the cameras showing some of what led to thousands of people losing power during the event. Keeping with the lithosphere, the volcano in Vanuatu continues breaking apart the island around it. Residents at the next distance ring outward are evacuating. Want to also quickly mention another daily snow record goes down in Canada. This one broke the old mark by 30%. Top science news begins with jet modeling the cosmic jets. Here we are looking at a star-produced jet in a nova scenario, and what is interesting is how some of the models have the eruption not just going up and away, but outwards towards what would be the orbital planes of any nearby planets. A terrific solar forcing paper hit the wire last week, more of the lagged forcing that confused 30 years of scientists into missing the solar climate connection. Last but not least, this is the galaxy that doesn't have dark matter. You remember. Well, from that same team out of Yale, Harvard, Toronto, and California universities, they've now found another one, and it's right next door. Paper is published on Archive and is free to read. While I am thrilled so many of you guys caught Solar Micronova 3 yesterday, it was disconcerting to see so many unwilling to open their minds to the option that we did actually go to the moon. Crimped gold linings, plus the electrical wires, pipes, and ducts were wrapped in a helix turning the fuselage into the center of a magnetic torus. Oh yeah, and their bow shock blasted away 70% of the particles just like when sounding rockets punch holes in the ionosphere. Think about it. We've got your wind maps followed by shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.